Safe Living Technologies is pleased to introduce the new Safe and Sound Classic 2. We listened to your feedback and provided more LEDs, a louder front-facing speaker, and eliminated any measurable EMF emissions from this device. As before, the Safe and Sound Classic 2 is a simple broadband RF detector designed to measure radio frequency and microwave radiation from 200 MHz to 8000 MHz or 8 GHz. This frequency range covers the radiation emitted by all cordless phones, cell phones, baby monitors, Bluetooth devices, upper and lower Wi-Fi bands, smart meters, 5G, and more. Its compact size allows you to quickly and discreetly view the approximate levels of microwave radiation in your area. It is small and durable enough to carry with you everywhere, making it the perfect meter for on-the-go RF assessments. This meter was designed to be the most sensitive, easy to use, and cost-effective device that requires no technical background. To help with identifying the various sources of radiation, the Safe and Sound Classic 2 also includes a built-in speaker for sound signature analysis. Unlike other detectors in this price range, the Safe and Sound Classic 2 truly covers the claim frequency range with a more even response. Lab testing results are available for download from the product webpage. It has the ability to detect very short RF pulses, which is a feature normally found on only more expensive units. The battery life is a full 27 hours with the speaker on and more than 40 hours without sound. If you forget to turn the unit off, it will do so automatically after about 30 minutes to conserve battery life. Included with this meter is the Safe and Sound Classic 2 with three AAA batteries installed, the operating manual, and a carrying case. Different levels of RF radiation are displayed by the LED indicators shown here. They are chosen very carefully by Safe Living Technologies to reflect the latest building biology guidelines and safety recommendations for sleeping areas. Each LED represents different ranges of power in multiples of 10. From the far left, the green flashing LED indicates less than 1 microwatt per square meter. Readings in this range are ideal and are of no concern. However, they are very difficult to achieve in urban areas. The second green LED indicates 1 to 10 microwatts per square meter. Readings in this range are safe and suitable for long-term exposure as well as sleeping. The yellow LED indicates 10 to 100 microwatts per square meter. For readings found in this range, try to reduce the level for long-term exposure. The orange LED indicates 100 to 1000 microwatts per square meter. For readings found in this range, try to limit your time spent in these environments. Readings with any red LEDs, or especially any flashing red LEDs, should be considered too high. Avoid this exposure level whenever possible. To begin measuring, power the unit on by sliding the power switch up as shown. The current battery level will be displayed at first. All LEDs illuminated indicates full capacity. To enable or disable the speaker sound, simply move the switch from the middle to its highest position or back down again. To measure effectively, scan an area with the highest rating as shown. Be sure to move the meter in all directions while scanning and keep the meter at least 30 centimeters or one foot from your body. If the RF levels that you just measured are at or are below a safe, long-term exposure level for sleeping areas, a green LED will be solid or flashing, displaying that it is an ideal RF level. Try to keep your sleeping areas in this range if possible. Daytime exposure will vary, as many locations will be outside of your control, but use the Safe and Sound Classic 2 to identify and avoid higher exposure areas. Here is an example of the unit measuring a Wi-Fi router. And here, we are measuring a nearby cell phone base antenna system. Note, each source of radio frequency emissions produces different sounds on the Safe and Sound Classic 2, which can help to identify sources in your environment. If you'd like to learn about these sounds, we have a sound library on our website at www.safelivingtechnologies.com. Once again, when extremely high levels of radiation are measured, 
a red LED in the concerning power range will flash as shown. Areas with this kind of RF radiation should be immediately avoided. When the batteries are low and need to be replaced, the unit will display the low battery level, then turn itself off. Use only AAA alkaline batteries. The Safe and Sound Classic 2 is designed to allow quick and easy measurements. Areas of concern can then be avoided, and if needed, more detailed measurements can be done with a more advanced RF meter, such as the Safe and Sound Pro 2. In any case, the goal is to reduce your exposure as much as possible. And once again, the Safe and Sound Classic 2 emits no measurable EMF and is specifically designed for safe use for the most electrosensitive person. For more detailed information about the Safe and Sound Classic 2 broadband RF detector and the dangers of long-term exposure to microwave radiation, please visit the Safe Living Technologies website at www.safelivingtechnologies.com.